Hello Wargamers, uh, today I want to do a unboxing video for this new Tau Barracuda AX5-2. Uh, it is one that was picked up for me at Gen Con down in Indianapolis and shipped up to me by my, my old stopping grounds, the, the Sages shop. So, uh, very thankful to them for facilitating that for me, but yeah, uh, figured I'd do an unboxing video, take a look at this bad boy, see what the the pieces look like, how it's shipped, everything like that. Um, I did start doing this video once before with the actual packet uh, plastic on this, and it, it was not working out, so I uh, took the plastic off. But other than that, I have not opened this box, so uh, very excited to see what's inside. Hopefully it's the right Barracuda. Wouldn't that be something if it, uh, <laughs> if it turned out to be the wrong Barracuda? It would be very disappointing. Um, but nope, it's the right one. All right. All right, so all right, so what do we got here? So that's everything that's in the box. All right, we got um, some instructions and the flight base, presumably, yeah, base, and then a uh, Forge World guide to resin model kits. So that's excellent. Appreciate the bubble wrap. It's great. Okay, so this is everything. Uh, it comes with the main body of the Barracuda, which is like a really um, nice piece of resin here. It's pretty thick. Um, I I wasn't expecting it to be any uh, any more pieces than this, but um, you know, it's one thing to actually have just this big hunk of resin <laughs> in your hand. So. Um, lots of great detail, uh, a big improvement over the, the previous model in terms of that. Uh, real smooth, not a lot of release agent or anything like that. It's actually pretty clean uh, to the touch, which is nice. All right. And then all the bits in here. This is where we got to be careful. I don't want to dump all these out and then lose half of them. So <laughs> we'll make sure that we keep that bag. Um, all right, here are the the most exciting pieces, perhaps the the wings. So each of these is his own piece. That should just go right right on there like that. Looks like it will fit pretty well. Um, what else here? Guns, let's look at guns. So, ion cannon. Again, there's that um, pre-drilled hole for magnets. Um, let's see. Have some magnets up here. Ah, you know what? That's probably not going to be a good idea. I'm just going to leave the magnets up, <laughs> up on the wall there. But um, this is a pretty big hole. You can tell, you know, based on the size of my thumb here, that that's that's pretty big. So uh, if you wanted to fill it up, you'd have to use a really large magnet. Um, not something that I think is probably necessary. Um, I'm, I'm going to try doing it just with the standard standard magnets that I use for my crisis suits. Um, cyclic ion blasters. Looks great. Um, burst cannons. Has a fair amount of flash on there, actually, which is disappointing. Um, I'll have to clean that up or or something. Um, yeah. More burst cannons. Still more flash. Uh, other weapons. Uh, here are the seeker missiles that are popping out. I was kind of curious how this was going to be done. Um, basically, the underside here has room for seeker missiles to be popping out of the, the bomb bay down here. And so the way it sits, uh, be like that actually, the way it sits is that you, you're you able to see all four potential seeker missiles on the Barracuda, but um, two of them are popping out and two of them are loading, or, you know, underneath. So I was thinking maybe that this would be two separate pieces, but it's only one, so that's cool. Um, what else? 
This is the movable turret. Um, missile launchers or missile pods. Here's one, here's the other. Um, again, one piece. Really, I one of the nicest parts, right, is how, how crisply crisply detailed the um, the fittings are. So, you know, this looks like it will just fit in there with, you know, absolute pre precision, which is fantastic. Um, a fin, a fin that goes in the, one of the ones that goes in back here. And here's another one. Let's see, more thrusters. Oh, yes, excellent. The railgun. Man, that's a nice, nice piece right there. It is actually a little, a little bit um, fuzzy on the inside there, so um, that will have to be cleaned up. But still, pretty good. Thrusters, landing feet, um, and then panels of various sorts. So there's that, and that. And that, you know, I know that we're not going in a ton of detail about any of these pieces, but I really just wanted to show you guys what comes in the box, like all the different pieces, um, and see the actual quality of the sculpt and and how all that turned out. Um, and you know, it's Forge World. Turns out great. So that's that's excellent news. Um, here are two two of the um, basically. I don't know what you would call those uh, bracers or electrodes that are on the, the ion cannon. And then the two aerials for the top of the ship. Um, here are the other two seeker missiles, which is kind of a, it's kind of a strange um, cat uh, positioning for them. It's kind of weird that they're not, not just flat. I wonder if, yeah, this must be part of the actual piece right here that actually holds it out at that angle so yeah that explains it uh, another part of the big burst cannon now this is a this is probably the the worst news out of the whole whole deal uh, I hadn't seen this until just now um, but yeah look how how warped this this end piece is it goes quite Quite drastically to the right. Um, you know, I wasn't planning on using the burst cannon, but um, I'll definitely have to fix this if I want to do so. Which, you know, I'll have to fix it either way. Or, um, you know, Ford World's pretty good with their customer support. If it all else fails, I can always call them. But yeah, uh, and then here are the two, the two sponsons, and then the uh, other parts so yep uh, pretty exciting I will certainly share the progress with you guys as this model gets assembled and painted um, looking forward to getting it out on the tabletop that is something actually I should mention it's something nice about this as opposed to some other Forge World sculpts is it has the the prefabricated um, bit here for your flight stand so you don't have to drill into it or anything like that um, and I was pretty sure there's a there's a bit that goes in there to cover that up in case you don't want the flight stand there but I could be wrong I'm pretty sure there is but um, we didn't see it here uh, at least I didn't notice that that functionality of the piece at the time uh, yeah so let's look a little bit at the instructions before we and the video, uh, these are probably the most detailed Forge World instructions I've seen. For the Yvara, they certainly weren't this nice, but uh, you know, great render of the model on the front. Yeah, it has a little bit of fluff on top, too. Uh, wow, really a great overview of all the components. Let's see, is there a part that goes underneath? Doesn't look like it. So, yep, 
yeah, I guess that bottom part just stays open. For the base, that's fine. Uh, some awesome color coding. Parts for assembly are green. Yellow is glue contact area. Man, that's pretty spiffy, guys. I really like that. Um, really detailed instructions. Uh, and, you know, because it's not a huge, huge part number, uh, they're pretty brief, which is nice, too. So, uh, I guess blue are options, right? So, you have all these different options that you can do when assembling them. The kit, uh, of course, I'll be magnetizing these. So, all right, um, that's it. Like I said, super excited. Um, great sculpt and uh, pretty awesome rules as well. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, happy wargaming.